According to Michigan Tech, the median annual salary for an engineer is $91,010. So for today's conversation, we're going to round this number to $91,000. So what kind of house can an engineer making $91,000 really afford? Stick around to find out. First off, I want to thank you for joining me here on the Seminus Network. All right. Now the engineers who end up getting the most expensive houses are the ones that hit that subscribe button. All right, I'm just kidding, but for real, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. All right, so a rule a lot of people like to use is to spend at most three times their annual salary on the cost of a house, meaning the engineer who makes $91,000 should at most spend $273,000 on their house. We do have to keep in mind that everyone's situation is different and that people's expenses vary widely, but this is generally a good rule of thumb. Here are some examples of houses in different states that you can afford with $273,000. Okay, here's the one in San Antonio that looks pretty nice. And another one in sunny Orlando, Florida. Okay, now the one in Seattle. And as we can see in this case, $270,000 will only get you a studio due to the high cost of living. But I mean, come on, Seattle's a pretty cool city. Okay, now let's say a few years later, the engineer making $91,000 does really well on their performance reviews and now they're making $120,000. Well, as we can see, they can now afford up to $360,000 for a house. Okay, now the second rule used to calculate the price of a house an engineer can afford and that a lot of mortgage companies use is the rule of 28. The rule states that the maximum household expenses or housing costs should not exceed more than 28% of your monthly income. Housing costs really include principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. So for example, that engineer making $91,000 a year divided by 12 months has a gross monthly income of $7,583. So if 28% of that can go towards housing payments, then that means they can afford $2,123 a month for their house. Remember, these are all general rules of thumbs and general guides used to assess how much a person can afford to pay for a house. And all of this will vary on a case by case basis, depending on your personal expenses. I personally think it's smart to be more conservative and buy a house that is way under my budget because this will allow me to meet my other investment goals and to have more money for things such as travel, good food, and experiences. So if you were an engineer and you're thinking about buying a house, how much money would you spend on it? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and remember, if you enjoyed today's content, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the Seminus Network.